Lo-fi. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Well, you know, the last time I saw you, uh -huh. you weren't married. You were still a bachelor. You're starting off with the marriage. I, a little bit, a little bit. But you got a new album out, uh -huh. and um, and so so we've come a long way here, and you're on this this current tour. Yep. Uh, what would you say? Thirty-seven dates is what I, or thirty-something you know, dates. You would know more than me. I, I just know I'm done December seventeenth. Yeah, they just they just tell you. Yeah, that's right. You're going here. You're doing the green tour. Yep. And uh, tell us a little bit about everything you're doing on this tour to stay green. Well, I'm driving a natural gas powered vehicle, and it's it's actually something that um, it was really an organic way of how it all came to be. Just because it started with kind of like my own pocketbook, just because it's so so damn expensive to go on tour. I mean, the price of gas is really really high, and. Uh, I just kind of started. Uh, Those damn drunk people I know. in Fort Worth. I, I just, I just thought to myself. Um, I don't know. I've, I've always wanted to. I've always been conscious of alternative energies and what I can do as a, you know, as a musician and an artist. And uh, you know, you want to stand for something more than just your own records, you know. And I just thought to myself, man, if I can go out on the road and find a way to maybe, I don't know be a voice out there, not only to other musicians, but fans that come to my shows. So I got, I kind of, the you know, idea got in my head of just like, what if I traveled using all natural gas, or as much natural gas as I could. And it's really, it's like turned into this amazing thing, and I'm really proud of it. So, um, we will be, uh, we'll be calculating the miles, the money that I save, uh, and hopefully it'll just kind of raise some awareness of if people demand more CNG stations. Does, uh, does it get pretty good mileage, your car? Yeah, I mean, it's basically the mileage is the same. You know, it's, it's basically the equivalent gas mileage of, of gasoline. It just is half as expensive and it's better for the environment. Is it, it, is it hard to find stations? Do you have to like plot out where you're going yeah, based I mean, on gas? I mean, there are certainly, um, this is a major thing, you know, that, that uh, the infrastructure is not all there yet, so um, that's part of the reason why I think in the next couple of years, hopefully more people will sort of demand these stations are built because, um, you know, it's kind of amazing what would happen if people just ran every car on natural gas, you know. It's an American product. There's. Um, a hundred year supply underneath our feet in North America. We spend so much money, a million dollars a minute on foreign oil that goes out of our country to overseas, which is crazy, a million dollars a minute. So I don't know, I mean, I, you know, I kind of just think like, I, 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 I really believe in it, I really do, you know? So. Um, and you're bringing this tour back to Dallas. Yes. Um, Yes, I will be the DFW Metroplex uh, two times in the next uh, month. So, uh, so for the fans in Dallas, come out to the show. Yeah, obviously. come out to the show, and uh, obviously, like everything I'm doing on the road is all uh, very well documented. Not only on my Facebook, my Twitter, but also at cngnow.com. I've got a free download on there, and. They've got all, you know, my tour videos and journal entries and like, um, they even have like a counter of how much money I've saved using natural gas and how efficient I've been on the road driving this car. So it's, it's a pretty cool deal. So when you go home, this is why I brought up your, you're married now. Okay. When you all go right. home. Back to the personal do you, do you, does your wife get on to you about any personal bad habits you pick up on the road? Um. Wow, that's a good question. <laughs> Personal bad habits that I think. Um, no, I mean honestly, usually I'm just so tired when I go home. I just, I have. There's definitely like a a decompression phase when I go home. So, um, uh, you know, when I'm on the road, I mean, I definitely 
you know, I love to document like everything. I, it seems like I tweet and Facebook all the time, whether it's insignificant stuff or important, you know, stuff about the show or about the campaign or about like, you know, the CNG now stuff. But when I go home, it's like totally like phone goes away, laptop is closed. I will not play music in my car. I need to be away from it, you know. So it's 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 very necessary for me to kind of stay balanced in that in that respect. Oh yeah, the club. So yeah. uh, I saw on Twitter earlier that you're playing on the same stage as the Little Elves. Yeah. How excited is are you about that? Somewhere there is a band called the Little Elves, and they are playing the same venue on Saturday night. I don't know how the Little Elves got the Saturday night slot, and I got the Thursday night slot. But you know what? I'm happy to have the Thursday night slot. The Little Elves, you know, they're a good group. They've done a lot. They've paid their dues. So one day, one day I'll get the Saturday night slot. The Saturday night slot. <laughs> I also uh, noticed earlier you were tweeting with some of the members of uh, Green River Ordinance. Yes. So what would you think about going back out on tour with them? Uh, I'm, I'm, we're in discussions about it. So everybody on, on the social networking databases needs to demand that we go on tour together. Those guys are great. I've written uh, with those guys, um, the guys in my band who also run Blackwatch Studios in Oklahoma did half their new album. I've already heard it. It's fantastic. So, um, I think it'd be a blast, you know? Do you do most of your recording in Oklahoma? I do now, yep. Yeah? Yeah. This new <laughs> album for me definitely has been sort of a, not only like a back to basics musically, and you know, I'm on the road again, but it definitely has been sort of a, you know, a reconnection to Oklahoma where I'm from. And, um, does that make sense at all? It does, yeah. Like, I, I, you yeah. probably, I would imagine, write better when you're at home. Well, you know, there's always been this thing, being on a major label, which I was for a long time, of, of like, well, you've got to go to L.A. or you've got to go to Nashville or something. Well, you know, I mean, you really need to go wherever you're going to be most inspired. Okay, so I just wanted to do a random, uh, what's your favorite, this or that kind of okay, thing. So, you got it. So what CD do you have on, just like repeat, on iTunes or whatever? Um, well, currently we have the new Coldplay on, on repeat. How is that? I haven't... I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what we think about it. <laughs> it's, it's, we're, we're, I'm going to let it soak in before I, before I... Before you make a judgment? Before I make a judgment on what the new Coldplay record is saying to me. That's what I, I thought you, you know? were gonna say that. I was, I, know. I knew it, I knew it. I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. So it's like, we, you know, I'm just, I need to, to be, de to be determined. When's the last time you saw them? Uh, I saw them on the X and Y tour twice and it was a spiritual experience. That's how good it was. It was incredible. I shot them, so. Awesome. Yeah, but nobody cares that's Amazing. watching this. It's fine though. <laughs> <laughs> They, do <laughs> they don't care. care. They're like, they're People like, we care. don't, we don't care about you and your, your self, uh, self-righteousness no, no, or no, whatever. People care. People care. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. No, what, what movie do you want to see that, uh, that's coming out or hasn't come out or, um, or that may be out and you just haven't had a chance? I want to see the Johnny Depp movie, but I forgot the title the of rum, it. The Rum Diaries? Rum Diaries. The, yes. The prequel to, yes, uh, that's what I want to yes. see. Yes. I want to see that one. Fear and Loathing. That's right. Okay. Uh, what, where, where's like your dream vacation? Where would you take that to? Um, dream vacation would be to go to Italy. Um, I've been there before, but I want to go back and it's just kind of like when you were there before, was it just real quick or no, it no, it was, it was a full, was, there's just so much to do. Dream. Like I, I haven't been to many places overseas, but I have been to Italy and I don't even want to go anywhere else. I want to go back there. That's so that's the dream vacation. Would you live there if you could? Uh, no, <laughs> no, I, I don't think I would live there. No, I just, but just, but just vacation. fun vacation. Yeah, just absolutely. fun vacation. Totally. What do you do when you're off time? Uh, Besides write music? Uh, I play tennis a lot. I love tennis. I, um, Do you get to play on the road or just when you're I try. Just I, always, I always bring my tennis racket and I try to play, but there's never enough time, you know? And, and it's like, you know, you got to have another person there with you. So rarely do I have a person I can hit with, but... Um, I'm no good. You couldn't play with me. Yeah, like I'm, I'm just kind of like a crazy fanatic about it right now. 
Alan in there, my plus one. Yeah. He 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 likes his tennis. He's so tennis yeah, player? yeah, you could totally. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love tennis. <laughs> love it. Okay, and then uh and then pretty much lastly, I think we've got one more after okay. this. Uh what's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is probably a molten chocolate lava cake or like a like a ch chocolate brownie the ice chilies cream scenario. Kind of thing. Well, a lot of a lot of places do do one. They do like a lava molten cake kind of thing. But I'm very particular about what I like. You know, like Cracker Barrel's got a pretty damn good one. Um, but you know, it can't be too cake-ish, and it can't be too brownie-ish, and it can't be too dense, but it can't be too light. So I'm, I'm pretty particular. <laughs> not not easy to please. No, uh, <laughs> not when it time comes to chocolate. And uh, when you come to Dallas, like where are your favorite places to hit up? Uh, Burger House, for sure. Chewy's, Mexican food. Um, Hotel Zaza is one of my favorite places to stay, of course. Um, oh, they have like a killer restaurant in there? They do. It's called the Dragonfly. It's incredible. Um, and, uh, I, I, you know, that's kind of my old stomping ground. So I just, I love, you know, uptown Dallas. Just kind of anything around there. It's, it's fun for me just to walk around. Cool. Awesome. So Graham will be back at the House of Blues. House of Blues. Next month. Next month. Uh, go see him. Go see me. Thank you, Graham. Thank you. <laughs>